After melting your media plus 1.5% low melt agros, begin by placing glass slides on a clean surface, such as parafilm. For 22 by 22 millimeter cover glass, we recommend pipetting 1 milliliter of the media agarose mixture. Try to remove large air bubbles with your pipetter. Before the agarose solidifies, sandwich the agarose by placing another identical cover glass on top of the mixture at a very slight angle to avoid introducing air pockets. You can cover the pads as they solidify to help reduce evaporation. After the pads have solidified roughly 45 minutes, you can begin to create smaller pads for each of your experimental conditions. You can partially expose the pad using the blunt end of the scalpel as a backstop and sliding the top cover glass over it. Cut along the agarose pad using the cover glass as a straight edge. Cut at intervals to make similar sized pads. Alternatively, you can use a biopsy punch to ensure equal sized pads. This is helpful if you are planning to add small molecule inducers, such as IPDG, to the pad later. To seed the pads with bacteria, pipette a small amount of diluted bacteria onto the small pads. Try to avoid marring the surface of the pads with the tip, which can decrease imaging quality. After the pads have dried, transfer the pads to your imaging surface by flipping them gently with a scalpel. Before proceeding with time-lapse microscopy, ensure your imaging surface is properly sealed to prevent pad evaporation.